Why, hello. Is there a time dilemma? We are picking up, hopefully on the road to uh, D end one. So, yeah, this ending. So we go in here and we select this one. Yes. Outbreak. Are these things Oops. Things? robots? Yeah. Are they real? I doubt they're model toys. Hey! Hello? Well, he's not very friendly. It's probably just out of power. Still, why would these things be in this room? Looking around, I'd say they were being made here. Made? Yeah. Zero's probably manufacturing them. It does say this room is manufacturing on the map. Uh, um, Sigma, why did you get quiet all of a sudden? Oh, hmm. no reason. Damn, it's locked. I guess we're trapped in here. Again? Again? Diana, what time is it? It's 1810. There's no use wasting time in a place like this. Let's just find some way out of here. Okay, let's go. Seek a way out. All right. Oh, let's check the floor. Uh, hey. Yeah, floor checking. Always a good idea. Bedroom. Alex, Betty, Charlie, ABC. Here, two. White, red, blue. Wait. The screwdriver head. Yeah, but it's difficult to use like it is now. It doesn't have a handle. Wire cutters. Her wire cutters, we should be able to cut things with them. Might break if we attempt to cut something too big. Hmm. That's a good point. on the table here. Cut Betty. Let's cut blue. From the far left, four. From the far left, four right. One left, two left, four right, three left, boot up. What in the... Okay.
Red, blue, white. Cut Charlie. Screwdriver grip. Combine with. Yep. Taser. Stun gun. I think this is a stun gun. Yeah, but we can tell how much power it has. Maybe we should try to. Ah, stop. Don't put that thing on me. Yeah, that's not cool. Uh. <coughs> High voltage contactor. High voltage contactor is any way to run electricity through it. How about we use the sun gun? What? Never thought of that. Who knows if it'll work, but let's give it a shot. Alright, one second, I gotta check something. Okay, back. Uh, let's see. What was that? I'm going to screenshot that so I can refer to it. There we go. Back. For.
No. Uh, I guess I don't do the last one. Try it again. Nope. Uh, I think we need to start on the first one. Then it's four. Right. One left. Two left. Four right. Three left. There we go. Cool. All three of them are activated now. They're in strange poses. Well, I hope they won't try to hurt us. Talk to the robots. Pleasure to meet you. I am Alex. That's a bit older model. It's my utmost pleasure. Betty? Hey, hey, Betty. I am Betty. Hey, hey, hey. nice to meet you all. Hooray. Strangely super hyper. No, 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 Inger, put down. Set timer to zero seconds, please. Charlie? I'm only saying this once, so listen up. It's more fluent than I expected, it's so human. That a voice could use some work. What's the staring? Could you be any ruder human? Contact between the red and blue balls will result in an immediate powerful explosion. Oh, no. Set the timer with the buttons above. I think this is a warning message. Wait, this is a bomb? It explodes just from red and blue balls touching. We better keep our distance. Are we actually doing what it said? Zero could be controlling it. We don't have any other clues. Yeah, but well, we don't know what will happen. True, only God knows. I'm going to set it to zero seconds. Ah. What is that? The detonation box. Betty has activated the timer inside the box just now. The ignition signal will transmit in five minutes. Five minutes? Damn it. I knew I should have realized that. It can be disarmed if you choose. You only have to cut the correct wires inside. Don't pick the wrong one. The hints to the right wires should be left by the designer. So I have to cut the correct wires in the detonation box? Does that mean there's a blueprint around here? Sorry, there's no time. Where's my wire cutters? Nothing happened. 
But it did say cut the right wire. Nothing happens that means we got the right one. So the blueprints, the notes were clues to disarming. Let's look, there's still something inside the detonation box. Right, I better keep disarming quickly. Huh? What the? Is that thing staring at me? It is an old model. Maybe he feels an affinity. <laughs> Damn it, fly! Please take this. What does he have in his hand? Is that a note? Cut, Betty. pendulum thing. Okay. 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 I feel like we should let the hammer touch the pendulum. I can't get at anything with this glass plate here. Let's take the screws out first. I drink your milkshake. I am Spartacus Geronimo. He he he. Woo. Alright. I've got a thumbnail for the video now. No. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Corner. Here's Johnny. I am the doctor. Who? Who? Haha, <laughs> time. Alright. Oh. Oh. 
completed. Oh, nice. <sighs> Seems like it went all right. Let's go. We've been in this creepy room long enough. I agree. Where's Gab? I don't see him. Maybe he went off to another ward? I'll go and check in the prep room. Right there. Excuse me. Whoa. He could be coming through the air vent. Sigma, did those robots cause you to remember something? The robots? The ones we saw when we were in manufacturing. You started acting so strange after we entered that room. Hmm. I've made a few before in the past. You made Whoops. robots? Well, I mean, all I really made was the outer appearance and the AI. The frame was built somewhere else. Why did you make them? It's a long story. Let's just say that it was vital to the completion of my plan. No, maybe that's not quite true. It could have just been my cover. To tell the truth, I was simply lonely. Mm. I spent several decades of my life alone, in the middle of a desolate desert. I lived in a facility built deep underground, much like this shelter is. Sometimes an acquaintance stopped by, but that was it. No calls or even emails. It was a place of complete and utter quiet. No rain, no wind. Just a buzz that echoed in my ears constantly. Still, it wasn't as if I was all alone at the start. Someone was there to help me for a short while after I started living at the facility. A woman. She was very lovely, kind and gentle. Her name was, well, let's just call her Dee. Dee and I, we lived together for three years. We spent the time researching genetics and studying various subjects like quantum mechanics, cosmology, biochemistry, and artificial intelligence. But... The woman passed away. Why? The facility's environment was very particular. To be brief, it had weak gravity. As a result, an illness developed within her circulatory system. My grief overwhelmed me. Two, three years passed, and, and the pain was as fresh as ever. So that's why the robots... I recreated Dee's appearance as best I could. I made her thought patterns match as close as possible. I spent 25 years completing her. And of course, it was impossible to perfectly replicate everything about D. <coughs> Still, she ended up pretty close. For a robot. And that was Luna. I named her Luna. Luna was very devoted to me. I also found that I truly loved her. Not as a woman, but more like a daughter. You hate me? No, I'd never. I'm just really confused. It took I mean... me 25 years to make that robot. Sigma, how old are you? I'm 67. No. You must be joking. Hey, Diana, Sigma, come here. What is it? I've come up with a plan. Plan? <laughs> hmm. 
Would you bring out the map, Diana? What's beyond the decontamination room? The hall for the elevator. So that would mean? If we open this door, we can get out of here? But how would we get it open? It's welded shut. Nothing less than a bomb would manage to dent it. Then, let's use one. What? Let's just use a bomb, and boom, the door will be blown away. Wait, you don't mean... If I remember right, we only need to set the timer and press the start button? Correct. Once the timer ends, the red and blue balls are released. When they both touch, that's when it explodes. Yeah. Okay. Get to it, Sigma. Huh? <coughs> the two of us? We'll see you back in the lounge. W wait a second! You want me to carry it by myself? Men lift the heavy stuff. <laughs> it's been the way of things since olden times. I'm the old one! But your body's 22, right? Don't forget to be careful moving it, okay? If those two balls touch early, we're goners. Diana and I won't have a way out anymore. Your concern for me is touching. Okay, let's go, Diana. Oh, um, okay. Real? <sighs> Trailing some Ryuji, uh... Sakamoto uh, energy there with your for real. Phew. All set to go. Congratulations. Who the hell made you head honcho? Call me Boss Fi. When did you get so high and mighty? Since birth. Damn. Parents must have been real characters. Please, you two. More importantly. Looks like the timer can only go up to 300 seconds. Five minutes, huh? Five minutes is plenty of time to get enough distance. Is it? All right, I'm gonna push the button now. Are you all ready? Yeah. Ready when you are. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. I think this is far enough. How much time is left? I'd say four minutes, 30 sec... No, 20 seconds. Now announcing the current casualties. CT, Carlos, Akane, Akane Junpei. These three are now deceased. <laughs> The execution. What? You forgot? Diana picked C team during the vote at 1330. Wait, what are you saying? Diana chose to vote for Q team. Isn't that right? I. I. The dance music. What kind of nonsense are you trying to pull? Did you really believe that I wouldn't notice? Zero. What you're doing right now is considered a rule infraction. You are not allowed to leave by means other than the X door. That is one of the game rules. We never heard that rule before! As such, I decided I must break the rules as well. Q-Team is on the other side of the decontamination room at this moment. They lie unconscious from being injected with the anesthetic in their bracelets. Just so you know, the bomb you activated is really quite powerful. It's true that if it detonates, 
The door in the decontamination room will be blasted apart, just as you have planned. At the same time, that means the deaths of the oblivious, slumbering Qutain. So, what will you do? There are three minutes left. You can stop the timer and save Qutain. Or, leave them to die, and make your own escape. The choice is yours. Hey, wait! Diana! <coughs> what the hell was that? I think it's liquid hydrogen fluoride, or hydrofluoric acid. Wow. The hydrofluoric acid. It's a powerful acid that can even melt glass or metal. How do you know that? I know because I just do. It doesn't matter. It's definitely some kind of acidic liquid. There's no way we can get inside. This is... A protective suit. We can go in if we put this on. But there's only one. I'll do it. No, Diana. But if someone doesn't go in, Q-Team will... Then I'll go. No, I won't let you. Stop it. We're already too late. Even if someone gets the suit on, we won't make it in time. Come on. Let's get out of this room. There's no other way. What are you saying, Sigma? Well, I'm going to choose this one because uh, it's what it says to choose. Excuse me, I am very burpy today. Where's Sigma? He's still in there. Sigma! Sigma! What are you doing? Open this door! I have to do this. What do you mean? You would have tried to hold me back if I said I'd go, right? You... lied? Anyway, there's no time. You both need to get as far away as you can. Stop messing around. You're just gonna die? That's not it. It's just in case. I won't die. I will save everyone in Q-Team. So... Sigma! 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 That's how he lost his arms. No! Sigma! Sigma! Sigma, hang on! Oh my god. We... We need to get him medical attention. I'll go check the other room. It's okay. The shower's stopped. And the door's gone. We're getting out of here. Come on.
Damn it. Why? This child. Why such a small child? Don't pass out. Hey, are you all right? Fi Lizard girl. Where are the others? I see. They're all dead. I'll be joining them soon. Zero told us. It was you, wasn't it? You set the bomb. That's okay. You deserve something nice in return. Oh. What wow. Happened? What did you just inject me with? Maybe you've heard of it. Pet virus. Someone infected with the virus was to go outside. Then, wow, mankind, six billion people will die. What did you? Well, do you like it? My present to you. No. Uh, who knew this would happen? My body like this. Phi injected with Radical Six. Everything points to a single truth. What truth? It seems this history is the one that connects to the future. Yeah, yeah, it really does. Well, I guess for Phi, it would be the past. Diana, you must not use this lift. What are you saying? We need to get you to a hospital as soon as possible, or... Don't worry about me. No, the two of you need to get out of here. I am the only one who should stay. There's no point. The rescue team will eventually show up if Diana and I get to the surface. And you know, they'll come down and get you too. Then, kill me. Kill me and burn my remains, now! Why? There's no other way. That's the only way to keep the virus from spreading. <sighs> come on, hurry. Six billion lives are on the line. I, I can't. There's no way I can't do that. Damn it, Diana. That was not Diana, the right choice. You, you know what you're doing, right? Yes, I do. I'm going to save you and Fi. No, no, you're not.
This is Diana. Oh, thank God. You really had me worried there. What happened? Six of us are... dead. What? Counting myself, there are only three left. How... why are... They were killed. What? I... I guess you could say... I killed them. No. No, that's not quite right. Not just them. Not just these six. All of them. All six billion. Soon, I will have killed six billion people. Wow. This is the recording from the LR. Wow. I suppose this was meant to be. Let's put our hope in the next Sigma. The me who will return here from the future. Wow. Depressing ending. So this is the outcome that leads directly to the events of Virtue's Last Reward, um, even down to Diana's conversation over the walkie-talkie. Wow. The end one. All right. We are pretty deep in this. We have plenty more scenes with Q team. Let's see. Interesting. The bomb. Interesting. Eject radical six. Don't. All right, I see where that is. No. Man. I think I was overwhelmed with the number of flowcharts that are in this game, at least the first time I played it. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. I'm going to ponder on this and then pick this up tomorrow, and then hopefully we'll move on to um, Q Team Ending 2. And yeah, yeah, kind of a downer. All right. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care. Bye.